favorite recipe in the clinic for people who are getting sick, as long, along with like yin chow. That's all. So for one person, it's one lemon, one ginger root. You know what? You can do, like if you want to do for a whole day, you can just do a whole, because if you're sick, you want to do it like three or four days, three or four times a day. So you could do all of this in like a two day time. And then just keep it in the fridge and just do, you know, dose it up that much at a time. So I usually do about like one whole lemon to about a chunk like this of ginger. It's a good thing to have up your sleeve. Yeah. Any questions? Yes. All right. So, royal jelly. I mean, yeah. You just eat the stuff? Well, like... I mean, like, I know there are little jars of it over here in the cabin. Yeah, I have patients just come and get the royal jelly from here. And then, yeah, you just take... I mean, I can eat spoonfuls of it. I mean, I can eat a whole container at a time. But most people don't don't love it. Yeah, it's got a... <laughs> you think that's got a... Yeah, yeah. You should try this. <laughs> <laughs> we start into, or I do, start into honey. Yeah. We keep and, it in the fridge. And a lot of people find it easier. Like, some people find it repulsive. Some yeah. people just like... Like, I can just take spoonfuls of it. Wow. And so some people like to mix it with honey. And actually, the mixing, for medicinal purposes, the mixing of the products is really good. So if you take bee pollen and um, bee pollen with local honey and with royal jelly, that's even, that, that synergistic complex is really good for you. I mean, I don't want to gobble it down. You want to have respect and just do a little bit. But that's really, um, that's really the, the good way to go. What else is the royal jelly good for, like if you're not worried about getting pregnant or <laughs> It's, you know what, it's really, it can help with a lot of things like, um, I mean, just yeah. like maintaining your your core chi. Mm -hmm. And so it helps nourish your essence. It's a good thing to do anytime, even if you don't want to get pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Could you talk just a little bit about the bee pollen? And um, I know you take it. A little bit to start off with a few grains of the pollen. For allergies, you mean? Is that what it's for allergies? Or? Well, I mean, in our medicine, we've used it for centuries. The bee pollen and the honey are like used um, to help prevent allergies, basically. Okay, so like if I have a problem with allergies during springtime, yeah, I would mix some bee pollen with honey? You can, certainly. You can like put it in you know, like other foods, too. But yeah, that would definitely help with allergies. All right, well, so what would be proportional on the thing? I mean, like a tablespoon of honey and a few grams of bee pollen or what? I actually like, here's bee pollen, it's a Chinese version, but I just like if I'm eating some cereal or something, I'll just, I mean, I'm not a very exact measurer, I'll just take like that much and stick it in. Oh, okay. And I think it's more like regularity, like doing it every day or every couple days, you know, it just yeah. helps. So you can eat it with anything? I think I can, yeah. Zero yogurt, oatmeal, smoothies. Yeah. All that. Like I put it a lot on somehow it's breakfast food to me, so it feels like you just put it on. It's it's almost forty percent protein, so that's more than me. It's every yeah. single vitamin, amino acid, trace element, mineral, everything that you need except for vitamin D. Otherwise you could live theoretically on bee pollen and water. Yeah, and this is this is from China. It says something like Bee pollen has been called nature's let's see what I say. Food. Nature's most complete food. So bee pollen really, I mean, these two levels from bear, it's I mean it's got like it's got like copper, it's got like a lot of micro. Literally nutrients. every single thing you that you need. It's pretty amazing. Can I have a question? Yes. I eat uh, Spanish bee pollen every day. Uh -huh. What's the difference? Well, you know, we often encourage people to have local um, bee pollen. Well, that was actually going to be a follow-up question. If you could do with just local pollen, would there be benefits of that? Yes. Okay. Because then, if you, you know, then those are the things in your yeah, environment. Local elements, yeah. So always, like, learning how to more adapt to our own environments is really important. But we live in a global you know, economy. So. Does that have anything to do with, like, the local plants that the bees are, you know, like, Absolutely. 
And then, so clearly you're dealing with, like someone had an allergy question earlier, so you're dealing with like the local allergen in your plants. Yeah. And then you're dealing with the local allergen, well not allergen, but the local bee pollen you're incorporating with those plants. So That's I wonder right. That's how right. that kind of fuses the relationship there. And that's really what it's all about. It's like taking in small substances so that our body recognizes those, right? Instead of reacting to them and guarding them out, it takes them in. Metabolizes them instead of responding to them. You gave me some deep pollen earlier. I tried yeah. The first time. <laughs> Are your allergies? Um, I, I don't get bad allergies right at this season, but I haven't sneezed all day. Yeah. I see because, like I said, it just has everything in it. I feed it to my dog. Yeah. <laughs> He really likes it. I mean, you guys have bee pollen. Yeah, and we, I eat it. I eat a handful every day. Yeah, yeah. And you just put it on your shelf. Like a multivitamin or it's like a multivitamin. Like tonic or it really is. We sell that. Yeah. We do. Yeah. 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 That takes some, like synthetic. You know, it helps with your yeah. 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 People say it gives you energy and um, yeah, but I I don't know notice that. <laughs> and I'm, I'm always like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it really completes it. Sure. So, right? yeah. And the Spanish bee pollen, there was a study done on Spanish bee pollen, and it, it has like a lot of testosterone in it, literally. So that's why people want the Spanish bee pollen. So it's got like a name for it. So that it's a sort of a marketing thing. I mean, definitely the culture comes out of the environment. Yeah. Yeah. What about cooking with honey? About cooking with it, yeah. I mean, I cook with it all the time. I put it in all kinds of all kinds of food, but I don't actually heat it. Like I might like make a coleslaw or something like that, cut, cut a cabbage up and put honey in, but I don't. I don't usually heat honey. Honey or bee pollen. I usually put bee pollen in my coleslaw. Usually, when we we tell people around here when it comes to cooking with honey, it's like 140 degrees or so is when you're going to start degrading the. the well, I think yeah, any food if you want food to be raw. You start yeah. killing all the enzymes at 140. Well, one thing, one thing that we do do with honey, like, um, like when I, if someone's really sick and it's hard to get herbs into them, we'll actually take honey and put it on the skillet and just get it warm. And we might add like sesame um, oil to it and ghee, something like that, and then add their herbs to it. And this is the one I've done that with. And then you can, um, so like for herbal food, if they're really weak digestion, and then every time they take tea, they just take a spoonful of this and put it in their tea. So that way they get the herb, they get the honey. And um, I think just like by heating it lightly like that, it still has all the nutrients in it. Mm. What about beeswax? Do they do anything with beeswax? Um, I didn't find any references to it in, the, in our text. And what, I mean, since you're acupuncture, um, what about yeah. the bee sting, bee venom? Oh yeah, um, actually I don't do that, but right. it, um, I've gone to conferences where that's um, taught, and basically, do you guys know about bee venom for, for um, pain? or Arthritis, tendonitis, multiple sclerosis, yeah. all immune I mean, that's been used for centuries. Um, the, oftentimes now what they'll do is they'll take a few bees in a little cup and they'll put it over, we have particular points that have particular functions in the body, and so they'll put it over those points. It's very effective for um, like MS and rheumatoid arthritis, and you put it on specific places, the bees sting. Um, and I've even heard some, some doctors do it here. Live bees. Live bees. But then it kills, you know, obviously yeah. when they sting, they die. You can put a screen, like a like this screen, a fine mesh, and then you pull the screen up instead of the bee off. It doesn't pull the stinger out, so that it won't kill them. Okay. Apparently, you get a lot. Of, even though you're not getting as much venom, you still get a, the same kind of effect. Um, so you put a screen down first, and then have the bee like right over the place. Yeah, and then you uh -huh. just pull the screen. Then you can use them again. Yeah, you use them again, exactly. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, I just couldn't kill anything. Yeah. Well, you don't have to now. Yeah. Okay. They have, bee, uh, worker bees live six weeks. You know, three days is a, I mean, three weeks as a house bee, three weeks as a field bee. So you can three catch weeks the ones at five and a half weeks. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you find them. I'll, I'll get them when they're like just crawling on the ground. You know, they're like on the way out. And well, if you have like MS or rheumatoid arthritis, I would definitely encourage that. 
have a lot of pain. The queen who's the same egg, same larva, is fed royal jelly. She lives for years. Years? Years, yeah. Yeah, so you guys should be eating your so, royal jelly. <laughs> so that, that, that goes towards your... Exactly. Your wand, yawn, yawn. Source wand. level. Essence right. level. Yeah. Taking royal jelly has a lot to do with your essence. Any other major questions? Any other ideas? Or? Thank you. Well, thank you very much for coming. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs>